You know, when you think of someone who is a billionaire with a B, you might picture a high-rise penthouse apartment on the East Coast or maybe a multi-million dollar Malibu beach house, but there are actually several billionaires living right here in Missouri. Fox 2's Blair Lede introduces you to those billionaires of the Show Me State and how they made their fortunes. Blair, I didn't know you knew all those people. Oh, I, I don't quite know them, but maybe I can, you know, get to know them, you know. <laughs> all right, so the COVID-19 pandemic caused many people to struggle financially, but Hundreds were able to roll in the dough and roll onto the world's list of billionaires. So according to Forbes, who keeps the tabs on all of the big ballers, 660 people crossed over into the threshold of being billionaires. So don't you go looking for these people asking for loans. But the journalistic data website Stacker used the Forbes information to find out who the billionaires are right here in the state of Missouri. So if you need some ideas on what fields to get into to see those big dollar signs, we have those two. So here we go. Six people from the Show Me State made the cut. Coming in at number three on the list, David Stewart with a net worth of $5.8 billion. He's from right here in St. Louis, and he must be a whiz on the web, making his fortune as an IT provider. Then counting down to number two, John Morris, hailing from Springfield, Missouri. Who says small town people can't make big waves? He has a net worth of $6.5 billion according to the Stacker Report, and he makes his place with sporting goods retail. And then lastly, certainly not least, we have number one person on the list of billionaires from the Show Me State, Pauline McMillan Keeneth, with a net worth of $9.2 billion. She's the 231st wealthiest person in the world. And just think about this, the world. This baller is a lady, she's from St. Louis, and she rakes in all of this dough with Cargill. This is the largest food company in the world, according to Forbes. She holds a 13% stake in the food production industry, working with farmers and just about anything related. So there are more people on that list. This is a hot story on our website, fox2now.com. You can see that full list there. Long story short, you do not have to head off to New York City or LA to get to the money guy. That's right. <laughs>